hill. Okay, bro, how you out here? Going way up there. We'll see you out there on the trail. Right, honey? but more hilly. Oh, I was gonna say like around Lake Superior. Yeah, Superior has more hills though. You have to do the like aerated version, like just drive an hour and a half south of St. John's <laughs> and you'll find the trailhead. So this is called the Irish Loop. Did you see all the like signs for that? Yeah, like what is this? It's just like the name of the like- the Highway? Yeah, cause it's like where all the like Irish descendants came. Big Catholic area, really pretty view of the cliffs over there. I thought they were supposed to be sand. Yeah, okay, aqua tabs are in the top of the pack. Okay. What's going on everyone? You've got Matt with Matt from Maple here. Today we are out on the East Coast Trail doing the Cape Royal Head Path East number one number 13. I'm out here with George and Honey the dog. We have about a 12k in hike to this cabin where we're staying at, and then a 6k hike out the next day tomorrow. So it'll be a cool one. Never been to the East Coast Trail before or Newfoundland, so it'll be a sweet one. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it today. Honey, honey. She's trying to get us something. Yeah, I know. Today we're going from here all the way around to the top of the Cape to the sandy beach to the cabin. About 12k. No, like. You think we're going up that mount, like big hill? I think so. Wow. Maybe we can have lunch and we can lift off. Yeah. Say again. A heath? Yeah, what's a heath? It's that. Like low lying shrubs. Going way up there. It's like strip malls and like fast food chains. We're currently climbing the big mountain that we just pointed to. It's a lot of uphill, and we're getting sweaty. But Honey's having a good time. <sighs> Top of the cape on a cloudy day. Here? Sure. Honey! Where'd you go? Honey! Good girl. Uh, we started down here near Wade's Garden and we've made it all the way to the North Point lookout area and we're going to the cabin but just stop for lunch right now. And then sun and cloud tomorrow. I like these dried shallots. Mm-hmm. Good texture. Nice crunch. Now, this trail is really long in here. Your hands are way hot. 2k since lunch. What were we at at lunch? Four point. Four point something. So we're like over halfway. Yeah. We're now just walking through Church's Meadow and we're just about more than halfway to the cabin for the night. Oh, and I guess we've got some, we've got a picnic table coming up apparently. Oh, look at the view! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> the 
fog rolled in. Complete fog. <laughs> what do you think, honey? Yeah, I turn away too. When's it gonna lift? Never. There's a the sign. Trail. Nice. For uh, Duncan and Rebecca still living downtown. Seems like we're getting pretty close now. We just passed the campsite and are almost at the cabin where we plan on spending the night. Looks like Honey's excited to get to the cabin too. It's close, it's like we don't have to go all the way to the camp It's super clean in there. Honey. Pretty sweet. We could have a fire in that pit, eh? Ark Builder, Noah. Nice. 17 or 19. Aurora Borealis, Northern Lights. Yep. Eight. We've just been hanging out at the cabin for a while and it's just about the time to start dinner. Supper time! Stir thoroughly, then seal pouch to cover, let stand for 10 to 12 minutes, stir again and serve. This will be my first time having a freeze dried bag meal. Average? Not great. <laughs> Do you want to just each have half? Yeah, sure. The chicken's okay. It's like dry chicken. Alpine Air Forever Young Mac and Cheese. A little over creamy, pretty salty. Uh, all told, maybe a six out of ten. Well, we just finished up dinner after those two meal in a bag meals, and gonna go wash the bowls that we used, and then just play cards and hang out for the night, have some tea. But it sure gets dark pretty quick out here, and it's getting cold out. So it's very foggy. Very foggy. Not much of a view from what would be a nice view, but we'll see you tomorrow then. See, it is warmer out here. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I've definitely done that hike. Yeah. Fergus South, I think it's called. Get this in the video. Fuck. Awoke to what? To a sky blue. Morning everyone. Spent the night in this pretty sweet cabin uh, on the Cape Royal Path just past the campground and we we're packed up, ready to go, swept up, cleaned the cabin, ate breakfast and Honey's excited for the trail today. So we've got about 6 or, or 7k on the trail and then 1k on the road back to the gas station. So we'll see you out there on the trail. Right Honey? Woof. <laughs> Your mud boots will be back on quick. Whoa. I think this is that minor gulch or whatever. Lead the way, honey. Oh, I'm so glad we can see the ocean today. Aren't you, honey?
Pretty nice, eh, honey? Come here, I want to take a look at the map. Wow. Yesterday, we are all the way over there. Pretty wild. Dude, this is constantly up and down, eh? Yeah. This is almost harder than yesterday. Quick water break at Gallo Cove. Pretty sweaty. And lots of up and down here. No gallows remain. Great views. No gallows remain, whatever that means. That's where they hang people. Oh, yeah, no more hanging people. New update from Gallows Cove is that Honey tried to tr chase down a grouse but had no luck. So we'll keep on searching for lunch out here. Where it gets rocky and it's hard to tell where the path is. I just got her boot, dirt boots taken off. Not Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Alberta, yep. Closing in on the last kilometer or so of the Cape Royal hike out here. Ocean views at the end have been amazing and really glad that the fog cleared up on day two. We just made it back to the Ultramar and a beautiful hike out here in Newfoundland. Beautiful scenery, beautiful ocean view, and Cape Royal was a blast, but it sure was a strenuous hike. Loved it. <laughs>